Hi there. Uh, this video is about how to make uh, a mashup or remix um, in BandLab. So the first thing you do is that you go to BandLab, either you sign up or you log into your already uh, already made account. Um, so that is what we'll do. Um, so you end up on your feed page here and we want to create a new um, a new tune here. So we want to make a new project, not not a, a via song starter, uh, but just an empty project here. Um, for this type of uh, thing, we will skip the quick start here. We could import our audio here, but there are a few things we want to do first. Um, the project I'm about to do, uh, I have done some research on it and I know that it will be in 115 beats per minute. So I'll start changing, uh, start changing the tempo here. I also know that it's in three quarter notes time. So I will change the time signature as well. So now I should be ready to uh, importing my first, uh, my first bit of audio here. So I will press here, you can drag, drag and drop, or you can just click and wait. And here it is. And um, the sample I am uh, getting is this called the Scarp Fair Drone number three. And uh, it's a drone thing with drums and hurdy-gurdy, sounds like medieval music, sounds like this. <laughs> And the intention is that I want to loop this out um, uh, in my project here. So the first thing I do is that I will uh, check the tempo with the metronome here. So I turn the metronome on, metronome on in uh, 115 beats per minute. And right away we can hear that uh, this is uh, somewhat slower than, uh, than the original tempo. We can also see that since I, I actually cut this out to be in uh, four bars or something like that. So we can see that it's a little longer than four bars because it's slower. So what we'll do now is that we will simply adjust uh, adjust the tempo. Uh, so I'll zoom in a little bit. And you, uh, you can zoom in pressing Control and using two finger two finger up and down on your touchpad, or you can uh, use the uh, the zoom in and out toggles here. Uh, it's fairly easy to adjust the tempo uh, of this or the yeah the tempo correction here. So you choose that one there, the region stretch mode. Make sure that the you snap to grid with the magnet tool over here. So what you do now is you simply drag this down to uh, to fit the number of bars. So let's check now. Much better. So uh, let's roll out a, a loop of this. So you, there's a loop uh, handle up here. So you simply drag it out a number of times, as many times you want. So now we have a loop. It keeps going. Nice. So that was, that was the first thing to do. The next thing to do is to uh, import a vocal. Um, so I'll get another sample in here. Uh, I sampled the vocal of a version of the Scarpa Refer song. Um, and um, let's hear it soloed. So press solo here for muting the other one here. You can also mute it by pressing mute. Um, so let's listen to this with the metronome on. Are you going to... So you can hear that the first verse uh, she's singing here is in a rubato style. So we will have to jump to the second verse, which starts around here, I think. Tell them to make me a can. 
So that's um, that's in the, in the tempo 115. So um, what we do now is that we will get rid of the first verse. So that's just where you put your your time cursor here. What you do now is that you uh, press S. Make sure that the the file here is active. Press S for for slice uh, or uh, whatever, and uh, delete the bit there. And then you can drag drag the file down to the beginning of, of the project here. And then we can listen to it again. Tell them to make me a camp. Uh, so we can hear that she is on time, but um, but it starts like a beat too late. So um, zoom in a lot and uh, you can adjust you can adjust oh, not that one you can adjust the sample not that one as well but a no what are we doing here go away come on please i wanted to uh, I just want to drag, drag this in. I'm not allowed to for some reason. Um, ah, now I know why. I forgot to turn off the the region stretch mode. So turn that off, and now I can uh, adjust my sample. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, when you're adjusting the samples here. Um, Turn off the magnet, maybe, because uh, that will allow you to uh, to be more precise. So, for example, if I if I hit the play button now, Tell them to make me. we can hear that the singer is very late on the beat. So, what I want to do is to find where the where the beat starts. Uh, I think it must be around here. This is like a trial and error thing. So. Tell them to make me a camber. Sounds better. So let's keep it there. Zoom out again. And uh, let's check it together with... Uh, check it together with... Um, with the beat here. Which is now greyed out for some, uh, for some reason. Although I... Ah, uh, might be because I muted it before. So here it should work. Oh, the timing is correct, but the pitch is not the same. Um, actually, I checked it before I started. So the vocal is in uh, A, uh, A Dorian, and uh, the drone is in D. So um, I'll have to I'll have to repitch that. There, you can do that in many ways. Um, you can go the easiest way for this, since we are working in semitones, is to use the editor here. So here you can pitch shift. Uh, so when we want go, to go down from D to A, we are going five semitones down. You can count that I'm correct. And uh, close the editor again. And now it should follow. That's it. So um, yeah. So this is very basic. You can do a lot of things more than this, but um, just a few tricks to to make mashups here. And uh, that was it for this video. Bye bye.